This is KMTV 3 News Now. I'm Melissa Curtis at 3 News Now. Here's a look at what's happening now. A U.S. Navy Waves veteran has died a few weeks after celebrating her 100th birthday, according to our news partners, the Omaha World Herald. Estelle Lainan served during World War II through the Women Accepted for Volunteer Emergency Service Program. The program was started in 1942 and Lainan enlisted in 1943, stationed in Illinois. She worked as a storekeeper, managing inventory and keeping track of supplies. She was honorably discharged in 1946 and moved to Dow City, Iowa. Lainan died on May 17th and is survived by her six children, 14 grandchildren and 22 great-grandchildren. A man wanted in connection to a fatal shooting in Nebraska was fatally shot by police in Wyoming Saturday. Members of the Cheyenne Police Laramie County Joint SWAT team opened fire on David Darrell Saunders after locating him at a home. Police deployed gas to try to get him out before he pulled a gun. Officers then shot him. One of the shootings Saunders was wanted in included one in which he allegedly killed his aunt, according to police in Scott's Bluff. Police learned Saunders was in Cheyenne after he was allegedly involved in a dispute with a firearm at a Walmart. And I'm 3 News Sound Meteorologist Caitlin Connell here with a look at your weather. Now as the Sunday evening hours continue, we do have a chance of seeing a few storms pop off in our northwestern most regions of our area. And that includes Norfolk as well as Wayne. A few of these storms could be strong to severe in those areas specifically. The main hazards being large hail and damaging winds. So it is something you do want to keep in mind if you happen to live in or near this area. However, closer towards portions of western Iowa in the morning hours, closer towards the time our early riser show starts. We have a chance of seeing some of those showers pop off closer towards portions of western Iowa. However, this round of moisture doesn't look to be or bring any possible severe weather along with it. Now throughout the day tomorrow, we have some nice intervals of sunshine helping us warm up into the low 90s. And then we see some clouds form over our area in the mid to late afternoon hours. And this is a cold front moving through the area, which a line of storms will form along that cold front and depending on when those storms start to fire off, the Omaha area might stay dry, but right now it's very, very picky on when these storms will fire off. So unfortunately, a few of these storms could be strong to severe throughout Monday afternoon into the evening hours. So overall, you do want to be prepared for some possibly strong to severe storms headed our way to end our Memorial Day, and it will also be very windy tomorrow. Overall, Sunday night, our main hazards are damaging winds and large hail closer towards the Norfolk area in this tan area, which is a three out of five on the severe weather risk scale. Here in Omaha, we still do have a chance of seeing some of these threats. However, it's not as large of a chance as for folks to our northwest. Now jumping ahead to our 70 forecast, 93 degrees is back for Memorial Day, so a wonderful day temperature wise. However, gusts up to about 45 miles per hour at times on Memorial Day. So if you have any outdoor plans, you do want to keep in mind that it will be very windy and very gusty at times. Now our severe weather risk for Monday, we have a chance of seeing some large hail and damaging winds across the area. And again, it's very dependent on when those storms fire off along that cold front. We start to cool back down closer towards the middle of the work week. 70 degrees is back on Wednesday. Then we start to warm things back up towards the end of the work week. 79 degrees is back on Friday and mid 70s for the weekend.